in this video, we're going to focus on how we can put in a nice background image. And in this case, I have a fancy image here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this is only within the chart area and not on the full canvas. So let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to look how to add the image in the chart area only in chart.js. So the first thing what we need to do is we need to get our boiler template, which you can find here on chartjs 3com getting started. And this specific link is as well available in the description box. Once you're on here, scroll down and copy this boiler template here. There we are. Copy this. If you want to understand what this code all is, make sure you watch this video here. So then we're going to paste this all in there and then I'm going to cut out this title and put that title in here save refresh there we are so what i want to do is i want to expand this chart and i will make it a line chart so i'm going to say 80 percent and let's convert it into a line chart instead of a bar chart save refresh there we are that looks nice only this line is quite narrow so let's remove this and let's make this tension of 0 0.4 save refresh there we are so now what I want to do is I want to put an image in here. And in this case, I have a very basic image I created myself, which is this here. This is a large image. I'm going to put it in here. and want to make sure that it will fit only within the chart area. So what we're going to do here is, first of all, we're going to scroll down here into the options, put a comma here and say a plugins, then bracket. And in here, I'm going to give it a name. And in this case, I'll just give it our chart area bg or something like that or anything you want and then i'm going to copy this value and i'm going to say here slash slash this plugin block then i say constant equals this then i'm going to say here id equals that and then we're going to say here before draw so the reason why i'm doing before draw is because i want to draw this before anything else all the grid lines and everything else should be visible as well and i guess maybe this image here has too much going on that it might not be a very suitable image but it's all right i'm just going to show you some of the basics and then you can play around with it with your own image so what we're going to do is we're going to say here three objects or sorry three arguments chart arcs and the plugin options once you're on here we're going to create here object destructuring and the object destructuring will be the following. We're going to say here constant curly braces equals chart. By the way, if you want to understand what this does or what is an object destruction, please look in the description box. There's a video about understanding chart.js object destructuring. So then what I want to do here is I'm going to say a CTX because I want to draw in the canvas. Next, I want to get the chart area, uh, height and width, etc., etc. And if you want to understand what is chart area, again, in the description box, you find a video about understanding chart area for chart.js, which is highly recommended to watch. So then I'm going to say top, bottom, left, right, width, height. And of course, we might not need all of them, but just having them all prepared is fine. So once we have this, what I want to do here is um, we're going to draw the item. But what I want to do first is I want to make sure that we have created this image object. This image object doesn't exist yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to create that one. And I'm just going to put it here up. And I'm going to say here, we can just say uh, constant. and Or maybe we can even do it here below, I guess. That's fine as well. We're going to say a constant image equals new image object so basically we create a new image object next what i want to do is i want to get the image source so the image source is basically so image dot source equals and this is a string value and then wherever the image is located in this case my image is just located here on my local or on my uh, computer i guess so i'm going to put it here there you are so that's in my document folder very straightforward so it might be of course on a website or anywhere so you can just get any image as well so then what i want to do here is i want to create an if statement what i want to do is i want to make sure that the image is loaded if it is loaded all right then we want to draw it. if it's not loaded we want to say please load this first and once it's loaded 
draw it afterwards. So we're going to say first an if statement, and we're going to say here if image dot complete. In that case, if that is fine, we're going to do our drawing of the image. How do we draw it? Well, CTX means drawing on the canvas. We're going to put it in here, and then we're going to say here dot draw image. And then in here we have certain variables. First of all, is the image name. So basically, we have the image uh, URL. Next, what we have here is the position, or basically the X position, and we have the Y position. So let's work on these first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say here the image URL. Uh, let's grab the image URL, which is just the image itself. That's this image object that understands that this is the URL. Next here, what I want to, because we're working with a chart area, I want to make sure it is here. But what we can do is just put on 0 and 0 for now. And then if I do this, or I'll, I'll, basically this will eventually draw it. What I want to do is make sure there's an else statement. If image doesn't load yet, unload. In that case, we're going to say here, draw the image in the chart. So we say draw image. So if I save this now, Refresh, you can see here, if you look very carefully, you can see everything is here behind it. Or basically the image is behind and all the other items are being drawn on top of it. So that's fine. And it's quite hard to see, so I understand that one. But you can see here the lines, grid lines, it does work. But you say, well, hold on. I want it to start in the chart area, which is within these four lines here and not here in the corner. All right. For that, we need to play around with this. Because this here will basically means position zero on the X and position 0 on the y. So x and y coordinates 0, 0. So what I want to do is I want to get this point here. So how do we get this point? Well, remember we have here the left, which is going to the pixel position on the chart area. And the chart area again is within these four lines here. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to put that in here. Let's save this one. And this is the only x value and this is the y value. So if I do this, you can see here now it moves nicely here. But of course the top should be down as well. So all right, so let's do that one. But if you will see now, probably you see that we're moving it slightly. Don't worry about it. We're going to fix that later on. So now I'm going to grab this top, put the top in here. Save that. There we are. So what is happening now? Basically, image will stay with the same height and width of the official image size, which is, if you look here, 1280 by 720. So, and even if I maybe like this here, as you can see here, even if I would change the console log and make the image smaller, or at least make the inner window of a browser smaller, it doesn't change the image. So what I want to do now is I want to start to change that. And that's luckily quite easy. Basically, there's still a width and height feature, which will indicate how big the image should be in width and what is the height in pixels. Well, luckily we have these here and we can just copy this, just put them in here. So I want to do this, save this, refresh, there we are. So now it works all nicely. And if I do this, you can see here the position of the image is working nicely as well. So it doesn't conflict anymore with the size and is exactly within our area of the chart. And that's basically it. So what we can do here as well, maybe you want to understand, because this is the before drawing, we could maybe hide the grid line. So you can say here, before data sets draw. If we do this, save that, refresh, what will happen is the grid lines are now being drawn first and then the image. And then you get like this effect. Of course, this is not very desirable. Finally, if you see all these images here, all of these pictures here are basically real charts that you can find as well on YouTube. So if you want to know all these kind of weird unique shapes here like this one here you can find it on youtube as well i have those videos all on you online on youtube so if you like this video and maybe you see this one and you want to do that one this one is a quite tricky one in that case i'm going to recommend you this video here how to add curve shading area in a line chart in chart js